A few days ago, I had the idea to do a live sim session where I would try out different game engines every weekend. The first session was dedicated to the default engine. However, the stream didn't go as expected, so I decided to turn it into a video instead. Since I had never used the default engine to actually create a game before, I was a bit nervous about how it would go, but I decided to give it a try anyway. Before the stream started, I familiarized myself with the basics of the engine. I felt kinda confident, but I ended up forgetting everything I had learned and struggled a lot during the stream. After struggling for an hour and 30 minutes, I eventually ended the stream and went to bed. The next day. The following day, I decided to watch some tutorials and learn more about the engine. I came across a cool three part series that explained how to create a space shooter game in default. While I didn't follow it exactly, I used it as a reference to gain a better understanding of the engine. With that, I started to work on creating my own version of the space shooter game. First, I imported all of the assets that I had created during the stream into default. These assets were basic shapes such as a square for the player and a triangle for the enemy. I also had a ground asset that I didn't actually need but I included it anyway. After setting up the project, the first task I tackled was creating the player's movement. While it was relatively simple, it wasn't as straightforward as in Gato. In Gato, I could set the position directly using position equals some vector, but here I had to first assign the position to a local variable before changing it. Once I grasped this concept, I implemented a basic left-right movement. Then I created the enemy game object and simply added it to the main level. Spawning objects was relatively simple and I loved that a lot. All you had to do was add a factory component to the game object in the factory, set the spawning object and call factory.create with the id of the object to be spawned. So I did that and implemented the shooting mechanic for the game. Next, I implemented the spawning of enemies with a random x offset while falling downwards. If the enemies touch the player, the game restarts. Additionally, if the player's bullet touch the enemies, both the bullet and the enemy are deleted. Restarting the game actually reloads the entire game preview because this is the only information I could find about restarting the game. And that's all for this one. I wanted to make a complete game with it, but I was too lazy to do so. Anyways, if you enjoyed it, please press the subscribe button. Also, I have created a discord server. If you want to join, you can find the link in the description. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.